How's it going everyone? In my last video, I showed you how to do aircraft safety wire on bolts. Today, I'm gonna show you how to do aircraft safety wire on a turnbuckle for a control cable. Stick around and I'll show you some tips and tricks on how to do it the right way. All right, so I'm gonna show you two methods. I'm gonna erase, delete that. I'm gonna show you two methods for this. The first is the single wrap method and the second is the double. I'm gonna to continue to use 032 stainless steel safety wire for this. You wanna go through the center hole and bring the safety wire where there's an even amount of wire in each hand. And then push over and bend it here and here. Now you want about a 90, perfect, as flat as possible, 90 degrees, okay? This side needs to go through here. I'm gonna push that flat. I'm gonna try to get it, like I said, as straight as possible, okay? Then come across over here to the other side and go in through the eyelet of the turnbuckle, okay? And pull that one down. I'm gonna try to get this one as straight as possible. Now, I have these two pieces of lock wire here. It doesn't matter which direction I go with either one, but they need to be opposite. So if I take this one and go this way and then come over the barrel towards me for my wrap, this side needs to go over the barrel away from me for my wraps, okay? I'm going to put a minimum of four wraps over the barrel. That was one, two, three, four. I'm gonna go ahead and add one more to call it good and then take my diagonal side cutters and cut it off as flush as possible. Same thing with the other side in the opposite direction. One wrap over the barrel, two wraps, let's go three, four, I'll do one more. I always like to do five, four is the minimum. I always try to do five just cause why not, okay? And then cut that one off. So there you go. It's that simple to do a single wrap method for a turnbuckle. However, you gotta remember this is usually down inside of a panel somewhere with not a lot of access or up in a headliner. So even though it's easy to get to on this trainer, probably not gonna be that easy to get to in the real world. And I do apologize for that, but that's aviation. Okay, I'm gonna cut another piece and I'm going to continue with doing a double wrap safety method. Now I would only use a double wrap method when I have to, but I'm gonna do the same thing I did before and go through the center hole Put an even amount of wire in both hands and now I'm going to go the opposite way. This one was on the bottom over here and on the top over here. This one is going to be on the bottom over here and on the top over here. Same thing as before. Go through the end of this, pull it down nice and snug, trying to keep that wire as straight as possible. Same thing, come over here, go through the end of this trying to keep that wire as straight as possible. Now, I forgot to mention it, but just like this one comes out this way, this one comes out that way, this one comes over and goes into the turnbuckle here. The bottom went into the turnbuckle over here. So this should be the opposite, okay? Everything is a mirror image for the second piece. Now, for this side, I went around the barrel towards me over the top the first time. Now I'm gonna go around the barrel away from me the second time. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put my nail here, put a 90 degree turn in the wire and start the wrap over the top. I'll do one, two, there's three, four. And just like before, I'm gonna do one more for my own peace of mind and cut it off as flush as possible with the diagonal cutters. Take this one here, okay. Before I went around the top of the barrel away from me, so now I'm gonna go around the top of the barrel towards me, okay. Again, I'm gonna put my thumbnail there, kind of put a little bend in the wire, and I'll put my first wrap, first wrap is always the hardest. There's one, two, three, 
four. I've got room for one more. I'll do five. Love it. We love it. Okay. So here's my tips for both of these. I'm going to pull the camera off the stand. And I'm going to get you nice and close. When you do this, try not to put this piece of wire directly over this wire. Don't start your wraps for this one here. Don't start your wraps for this one here. Always remember to go the opposite on this one and on this one. Now, a little trick, I didn't do it, but a little trick if you want to make it look cleaner, you can put both pieces of wire in there initially, put them both through the eyelet, and bring them both this way. That way, this piece of wire right here will actually be underneath these wraps. I didn't do that because I had already put this first piece of wire on and then I added the second piece of wire second. Those are the two most common methods for safety wiring a turnbuckle, the single wrap method and the double wrap method. For most general aviation aircraft, you're just going to use the single wrap method, but there's nothing wrong with having a double wrap. It's going to keep this turnbuckle from coming loose and losing tension. All right, once again, guys, that's gonna do it all for this video. I hope you found this information useful. Hopefully you put it to practice out there on your aircraft or at whatever school you're at. If you found it helpful, hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and as always, be easy.